we all make mistakes. No matter how experienced we are, a game with so many systems and mechanics like DayZ can open the floodgates to a multitude of slip-ups and blunders. But here, I'll go through some of the most common mistakes you'll probably make or see. With each one, I'll explain the mistake, the reason it's bad for you, and then a potential solution, plus any additional information I think of. If you like the video, please leave a like or a subscribe. I'm a small channel and it honestly helps me so much. But without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Give me more credit, I'm not a moron. You know what, never mind. Firstly, and something you'll see a lot of, is an overloaded inventory with unnecessary items. This is a huge issue and doesn't just affect new players either. There are many seasoned players who fall into this trap themselves. And I say trap because the game sort of tricks you into it. Because it conditions you to hoard every potentially useful item in order to survive, the thought to do away with any surplus never actually crosses your mind. But this can have some pretty negative effects on your overall game. Things like unnecessary stamina hits, you take up too much room that could otherwise be used for useful items, you take longer finding the things you need, and so on and so forth. By managing your inventory effectively, you essentially learn to prioritize the more useful items which can not only help extend your life, but can help you become a better player overall. I'll link a video on inventory management in the top right and in the description. Another mistake people make is ending zombies with no silencer. As I've demonstrated in a few videos, it can be disastrous. Zombie detection is simple. They hear a noise, they head towards it. If they see you, they charge. If you fire a gunshot in a town, you can bet the farm that every zombie in that town will be swarming you in seconds, and probably every player in earshot. Too. Because of this, a silencer is a must-use attachment, even if you think you're alone. Personally, I rely on the Mark II most of the time. I'm not a huge fan of this gun for general combat, but it has a built-in silencer, you can find it near the coast, and a headshot will end most zombies in one shot, so it's my go-to for dispatching the infected. But be warned, if you miss a shot with any silenced weapon, it can attract that zombie to you. Just keep that in mind. Next, and this can even affect mid-level players, is searching every build you come across. I see this a lot. Honestly, you will mostly always find some form of loot in most buildings, but there are advantages to using a targeted search approach. Not every house or building has the same chance of spawning the things you need, so searching everywhere can make your early game extremely slow and laborious. So don't just learn medical facilities, army bases and police stations, learn more houses and industrial buildings you should prioritize as soon as possible because then you'll speed up your early game gear getting tenfold. Another mistake you'll see a lot of is wearing bright or non-blended clothing. This includes hats, masks and raincoats. Around the coast it's not too bad because you're just looking to stay warm for a few minutes but as soon as you leave the coast you're essentially walking around as a giant target. Players are always scoping the area for other players and nothing catches their eye quite like a giant red hat against a green and brown background. The best way to solve this is to try and keep neutral colors, blacks, greens, grays, browns, and anything not too saturated. Again, this is almost always new players, but it's a huge mistake, staying on the coast too long. As a beginner, this is completely normal because, well, first of all, you don't know where you're going. Second, you need loot before you can travel, and third, well, you can't really survive long enough to travel inland. Here's the issue with all of that though. First of all, being on the coast will usually lead nowhere interesting. Second, the loot is always awful, and third, it can be more difficult to survive along the coast. The best way to avoid this problem is to find very basic gear and a couple of pieces of food, then head inland as soon as possible. Another one is drinking from water bottles you find randomly around the map. Again, mostly beginners, and I understand why. You get thirsty quick when you're somewhat inexperienced. But these water bottles can make you ill. Don't confuse them with cans of drink, which are perfectly safe. If you find a water bottle, only ever drink it if you are absolutely desperate or ready to treat. Alternatively, you should empty the bottle by looking at the floor and pouring it out, then filling it up at the nearest well whenever you find one. Next is not adequately managing stamina and underestimating its importance. This can impact everything from melee and shooting to running and hiding. It's important to always watch your stamina. Extra weight can impact on what you have, sprinting and fighting can deplete it quicker, certain conditions and items can slow down its regeneration and the list goes on. Make sure you always have enough that if you're in the middle of a field or a town and somebody fires at you, you can sprint away in a zigzag to safety. Another one, and this happens to all levels and is extremely common, being afraid to die when you have gear. This affects so many players and can even become a somewhat obsession. This 
is gear fear and it's harmful. Look, we all go through it at some stage. You've got the gun you've been searching for for a week, you found a new item, you're more geared than you've ever been before, or you finally got your character looking how you've wanted him to look for so long. All these things can trigger gear fear. People literally change their entire style of gameplay and it can really put you off your game. As I mentioned earlier, you're conditioned to hoard, so losing gear feels like a backstep and losing all of it can be disheartening, but it shouldn't be because it isn't a bad thing. Some of the most fun in DayZ is spent looking for loot. The hunt for new supplies to survive the apocalypse, never knowing what exactly you'll discover. It's that tiny excited feeling you get when you find something cool. Because realistically speaking, you will get geared again many, many, many times. And although sometimes when you die it can be frustrating, just keep in mind, every life on day Z is a brand new story and there's always lots more gear for you to find. You will never run out of places to loot or new gear combinations to discover. So don't sweat the small stuff and enjoy the little things. Rule 22. Next, and I'd personally say this was the second biggest killer of new players, next to starvation, not learning the basic health system. Daisy has a comprehensive health system. Infections, cold, food poisoning, and even broken bones. And most of these things are entirely preventable with a tiny bit of knowledge. And yet, people still don't wash their hands before they eat. I know this is similar to the water mistake, but I feel like they both needed to be separate to emphasize their dangers. I'll link a full comprehensive medical guide in the description <laughs> yeah he's stuck whoop no i don't know it just sometimes I oh shit. feel free to tell me what you'd add to this list in the comments and keep in mind we all make mistakes regardless of how many hours we have in the game myself included nobody is perfect but hopefully these have helped you out a bit if you like or found the video useful please leave a like if you want more content in future subscribe thank you for watching and as always until next time